Okay, so um, it says the central atom in uh, bromine pentafluoride has how many bonding pairs of electrons and how many non-bonding pairs of electrons. So um, let's just go ahead and build this structure. So. So bromine pentafluoride. So hopefully when you look at a structure or a molecular formula like this, um, you see the, that of course <coughs> one of these atoms is going to be the central atom, right? Which one do you predict will be the central atom? Bromine. Why would you predict that? So does fluorine, right? It, expands it's its, uh, it can expand its valence, right? So um, fluorine can't expand its valence. Why is that? It's not it's it Yeah, it's not big enough, right? So it, it can't um, have all those arms around. So um, let's put the bromine in the middle there. And let's uh, draw its valence electrons. So remember, it's expanding its valence. kind of draw them a little further away from each other. And how many fluorines do we have? Well, five. So five of those electrons are going to be making bonds. So let's draw the fluorines. And again, we're just starting from the constituent atoms so we can show everyone how we build these things, Lewis structure wise, and then we can go to um, talk about the electronic, the electronic and the molecular structure. Okay, so there's five fluorines. So let's show the bonds being made. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see, right, we're going to have five bonds and one lone pair, right, because we've got the, those two electrons left over. So, <coughs> how many electron groups is that, five bonds and, two, uh, and a lone pair? Six, right? So what's the electronic structure of this thing going to be? Octahedral. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind while we're building. Well, let's just go ahead and, and skip the Lewis structure part and just build uh, or show the uh, three-dimensional structure of this molecule. So bromine. And so we're going to have the one fluorine straight down. And since this is octahedral, right, we're going to have four groups in the plane here. So remember how to draw those. I guess we've already answered the, the question that was asked of us, but let's just keep going with some other stuff. Okay? So is everybody cool with drawing something like that? Um, so what did we say? The electronic structure was octahedral. What would the molecular structure be? Square pyramid. Yep. Square pyramid. So why is that? Because remember, if you're like a little guy looking at that thing, you can't see these long pairs up there. You can only see the um, atoms. It's a, this is an upside down square pyramid. Normally, we draw it the other way, but it's fine to draw it this way. It's just like standing on its head or something. Um, and I guess what was the question? It said how many bonds and how many lone pairs? So how many bonds, how many lone pairs? So bonds, I guess you guys can count those. Um, some, somebody tell me just for fun. Five. Five. Five bonds and lone pair electrons. One lone pair. Um, anything else you guys want to know about this? Uh, what's the bond angle here? 
Somebody tell me that. 90, right? Why would it be 90? Because there's four on a plane, right? So four on, four on a plane, the furthest they can get apart is 90 degrees. What about this bond angle here? What would you expect it to be? It's probably a little different than that, but yeah, you might expect it to be 90. It might be a little bit less than 90 because the lone pair kind of pushes these all down. Look nice today, going to work. <laughs> okay, any other questions?